The severe hailstorm that hit South Texas more than a week ago was one of the most expensive in state history. Hundreds of thousands of people will be working on repairs to their homes for quite some time. Mark White with Legacy Home Improvements is here with us to, to tell us more about the do's and don'ts when dealing with a hailstorm damage. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Sharon. So what should homeowners and businesses sort of be looking out for when, when a hailstorm hits and afterwards? Well, right now there's a huge flow of contractors coming in from all around the country uh, for this hailstorm. It's made national news. It's made a great impact on the insurance industry. And basically, uh, there's an opportunity there for uh, some contractors that may or may not have uh, your best interest in mind as a homeowner to you know, take advantage of the situation. So some of the do's and don'ts I would just say is, is you're going to have to just know who you're dealing with find out who you're dealing with you can, there, there's a lot of things that uh, most homeowners this might be your first time doing this you know having an insurance claim you've just got your windows busted out and you don't know what to do so you have to find out that your company if they're local you know where are they based out of are they insured are they licensed are they bonded things like that to have some kind of a surety that the contractor you're dealing with knows this insurance process there's some accountability if something were to go wrong I mean every every uh, contract uh, every project doesn't go completely 100 percent perfect but if something were to happen you know that there's some uh, assurances to uh, to help out so it's good to call around ask questions and compare prices well absolutely what you really want to do is is maybe meet a few different contractors see who you feel comfortable with and then the one that you like do a little research on them make sure that everything is is, is good to go with them you know um, you don't have to get 10 or 11 companies over at your house don't do that to yourself but but look for some companies that are very reputable that maybe uh, your neighbors have used it's really early in the storm so uh, if you get a contractor that your neighbor used and and everything went well and they didn't get taken advantage of and everything was fine you may want to give them an opportunity and why is it important for a roofer to be bonded or insured well it's a very good question Sharon um, basically a bond is going to have a sense of uh, assurity that that contractor is going to do the work as per the local muni municipality and the laws the applicable laws in the state and in this in the city so um, th the San Antonio licensing as well like a, a lot of people are doing business here without a license and so um, instead of just asking and believing the yard signs all the yard signs say licensed bonded and insured they all say that they've been printed on the yard signs for years you've got to really check that and see if there are they really licensed bonded and insured so you want to ask for a copy you know you want to see a copy of it there's there's a license here looks like this mm -hmm. if there's a bond <clears throat> it's going to look like this and then the city of san antonio actually has a website most people don't know this you can go to sacontractorlookup.com and actually type in the company name and if they're licensed it's going to pop up there on the screen if they're not licensed yeah. nothing happens and you may want to do a little further research and see who these people are and i would imagine a lot of folks are, are wondering will uh, insurance rates go up because of these roof claims <clears throat> that's a really good question that i would love to answer basically um, the texas uh, department of insurance has put out something called the texas consumer bill of rights and you can look it up online on the texas department of insurance website it actually states that an insurance carrier cannot raise your premiums based on an act of god claim it's called a not at fault claim so it's not your fault that the hail came like no one was doing a, a hail dance mm -hmm. except maybe some of the roof companies right. so uh, it's not the insurance it's not the homeowner's fault so they can't use those claims against you to raise your premiums or to drop you so if you have damage don't be afraid to file a claim that's what your insurance is for that's what you've been paying your premiums for for something like this to if it happens you can do something about it but eventually insurance rates will go up over several years well eventually because of I mean that's the nature of insurance uh, it's the claims in, in the state and everything else um, that are gonna bring the rates up just as they always have where the, the people that haven't ever filed a claim before their rates had gone up a little bit over time already so it's the same thing All right any other tips that you can think of um, I'd say that now is a really good opportunity for a lot of homeowners that don't, don't think of this as a bad thing this is an opportunity for your home to get upgraded to get restored only for the cost of the deductible and you can get your roofing done, your siding, windows, painting, fencing, everything done for just the cost of maybe your deductible. And you can't get a deal like that on Groupon or anywhere else. That is a great opportunity now. And if you've ever thought about upgrading to a metal roof, 
something like that, you can use the proceeds of your insurance claim to upgrade you to metal. And uh, we'd highly recommend that. We've got a lot of our customers who are doing that now. We can actually uh, stretch that upgrade amount over 12 months. Mm -hmm. And if anyone has problems with their deductible, we can do the same with the deductible. We can actually stretch that out over wow. a year. So people shouldn't be afraid to get their insurance claims filed if they do have damage you're going to want to get a free inspection from a company a company like mine uh, to assess whether you do have the damage or not when you should move forward with a claim or not all right thank you so much all right uh, here's some more info about um, legacy home improvements where they're located and their phone number